Many have wondered whether innovating is more of an art than a science, or more of a science than an art. We believe that all things being equal is exactly where innovation thrives. The Excite Center at Drexel University, where creative expression and technology come together. I tell those new to Drexel University that it's an incredibly entrepreneurial place in all senses of the term. You can really make unique things happen here, but you will be the one to do them. Creating any new enterprise requires considerable initiative and comes with substantial risk, but it's both a great privilege and a great responsibility. I think our particular enterprise, the Excite Center, is an example of that. Excite is a startup. It's our great opportunity and tremendous privilege to try something new, to make things better. It's a different approach for academia, where we seek to create new knowledge by integrating understanding across a variety of disciplines. A part of that is advances in technology. Another part is the human-centered perspective provided by the arts. And another part can be products, services, and organizations that change people's lives for the better. But overall, it's the idea that together, we are greater than the sum of our parts, and that together we will invent the future of Drexel. We hope you'll join us for this journey. There's plenty of room on this train, and we are just getting started. Hi there, I am Lauren Bauman, currently a junior studying International Area Studies and working as a Civic Innovation Assistant. It is my role to find new and inventive ways to connect the diverse work done at Excite to Drexel and the greater Philadelphia area. There are many ways I engage the community, whether it's through managing Excite social media platforms, documenting events happening on site, or planning and organizing our summer music technology program, which gives high school students exposure to science and engineering by integrating their love of music. My favorite way to connect to the community is through a podcast series called The ExciteCast, exploring work done at the intersection of design, technology, and entrepreneurship. The ExciteCast themes range from Excite-specific projects, like the Entrepreneurial Game Studio and Seed Fund projects, to Drexel's community engagement through the Dornsife Center, as well as work done by our partners like Opera Philadelphia, Code for Philly, and Tech Girls. You can listen to each new podcast on the first Tuesday of the month at 9 a.m. on WKDU 91.7 FM, or catch up on past themes by visiting soundcloud.com slash ExciteCenter, or searching ExciteCast on iTunes. Always concerned with how to engage our community, Excite houses the Digital Inclusion Group, or DIG, which includes organizations that utilize technology to support our local community. I help support DIG, specifically digital on-ramps, focusing on workforce development. Keeping in mind that there is no one way to be civically innovative, my role constantly strives to push the boundaries of traditional community engagement and to discover creative and effective ways to support Philadelphia. Hi, I'm Zach Howell, a senior computer science student, and I work as a co-op at the Entrepreneurial Game Studio, or EGS. You might know us from Skyscraper Tetris, which is in the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's largest video game display. But EGS is involved with so much more, including other citywide gaming projects, educational outreach, and supporting student game companies. My role at EGS is just as expansive. I'm working on an icebreaker game using phones as cameras, as well as helping Girl Scouts show their games on a skyscraper. EGS also aims to foster student game companies as incubator groups. We pull from all different majors, computer science, digital media, business, and others. All of us work together to ship a game that's for sale on app stores. Something unique about EGS is that we all work outside of Drexel's curriculum, contributing our time towards an entrepreneurial pursuit. Fostering a safe creative space for artists, programmers, writers, and musicians is what EGS is all about, and I consider myself incredibly lucky to be able to help facilitate that. Hi, my name is Jabari Jones. I'm a junior studying finance and legal studies. My role here is called the Entrepreneurial Assistant Co-op, which serves to support entrepreneurship across the university. I primarily work assisting the recently launched IC at 3401, which is Drexel's strategic collaboration with the University City Science Center to provide a business incubator for emerging ventures. IC at 3401 is housed directly upstairs from the Excite Center. 
I connect IC at 3401 member companies to university-wide resources, including the research housed in the Excite Center, faculty expertise across all of Drexel's colleges and schools, and I design new ways to connect to and support other entrepreneurial activities around campus, whether you're a student, alumni, or otherwise. My work connects Drexel Ventures, the Closed School of Entrepreneurship, the Student Business Incubator, the Biota Institute for Entrepreneurship, and the Entrepreneurial Game Studio. Hi, I'm Allie Frauenprice. I'm a fourth year computer science major at Drexel University and an assistant in the Drexel App Lab. The App Lab is a research hub and resource for any student at Drexel who is interested in mobile app development. Since we sit under the Excite Center, we are independent of any college or degree program at Drexel, meaning we can offer our resources to anyone regardless of their plan of study, helping students to learn the tools and concepts they need to develop their own apps. We have a lot of resources at the App Lab, but the most popular are our interactive workshops. These events, usually two hours in length and always free to attend, typically focus on one programming project or aspect of the development process. Past workshops have focused on Objective-C programming, Swift programming, and app idea formation and research, and we've had students of all years and from nearly every school at Drexel attend and enjoy these events. The App Lab also holds consulting hours for students who have an interest in mobile development but need some help getting started. These hours change each term and are always scheduled to allow co-op students and others with limited availability the same opportunity to meet with us directly. To complement these direct educational opportunities, we also produce more widely available material, such as our programming screencasts, which are available on the Excite Center's website. These enable us to offer our resources to anyone in the Drexel community and to share them easily with our partners. Besides our outreach efforts, at the App Lab we also work on our own mobile development projects, which often include topics such as music, engineering, health, transportation, education, and just about any subject you can think of. We employ co-ops, summer research interns as part of the STAR program, and part-time employees to help round out the span of our research and bring innovative ideas to our lab. Hi, my name is Ryan Young. I'm a junior here at Drexel studying software engineering in the College of Computing and Informatics. I have been working with the Excite Center since the summer of my freshman year doing research in expressive robotics. Music is inherently expressive art form. Here at the Excite Center, we believe that the best work is done when combining art with science. One way that we do this is through the use of our humanoid robots, the Hubos. The Hubos are being developed to interact with the world in intuitive and natural ways. People interact with music in a variety of ways, such as playing, dancing, and listening. One of the things we focus on with our robotics research is to bring these expressive interactions that people have with music to Hubo. Through our development and expansion of the capabilities of the Hubos, we have been able to have the robots respond to the world in a way that people do. Our Hubos can listen to music, recognize what song is playing, and just like a person would, begin dancing along to the music. Dancing is usually a group activity, so after we had the Hubos dancing, we wanted them to dance with people. Through the research that we have done, Hubos can visually recognize what a person is doing and from that determine if they should dance along. This brings a very human aspect to our robotics research, which is one of the goals of the Hubos. Hello, my name is Christina Kara, and I'm the lab manager of the Shima Seiki Hot Tech Lab. Our lab was established in the Excite Center as a multidisciplinary laboratory and a partnership with Shima Seiki, who donated over a million dollars of state-of-the-art knitting equipment. Hot Tech Lab Director Jean-Viev Dion's research uses advanced manufacturing processes for the flexible production of mass-customizable technical textiles engineered to perform specific functions. In the Hot Tech Lab, we use knitting as a manufacturing platform for rapid prototyping, similar to 3D printing. Knitting is an ancient fabrication method but in the Shima Seiki lab, we use advanced knitting machines to investigate modular production of 3D knit fabrication to create seamlessly knitted electronic yarns into garment devices, also known as wearable technology. Garment devices are engineered textiles designed to perform specific functions like sensing and actuation. Current wearable technology relies on hard electronics sewn into conventional apparel. One of our goals is to develop the building blocks to create true garment devices, solving basic problems like power storage and supply, production, and actual wearability of smart garments. 
As we explore the versatility of modern knitting equipment and the variety of new materials available, we now view knitted structures as adaptable material systems. Well beyond wearables, the Shimaseki Hot Tech Lab is capable of creating complex 3D forms and technical textiles spanning a wide range of industries from automotive to architectural. Um, I advocate for STEAM, inserting the arts alongside that, not as an add-on, but integrated into that education, because it is through the arts that we understand that there are not necessarily right answers to all of our problems. In math class, in science class, in most of these classes, you know, you get a problem set, these answers are right, these answers are wrong. There is no one right way to perform Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. There are many good ways, many great performances, many great recordings. There are probably many more bad ways <laughs> to perform Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. But that experience, that exposure to the arts, is what gives us the facility to deal with uncertainty. Yeah, it, it's great to have some technical skill. It's great to have that knowledge and you know, understand engineering and math and physics and all that. But you need to place it in context as well. And if you can't do that, then you are actually, I think, limiting your skill set or limiting your opportunities for the future. So my goal, my goal at the end of all this <laughs> is hopefully we are training some students to do even greater things down the road. And they'll have the basic skills, but they'll also have the creativity, the flexibility, and the vision um, to make even, an even greater impact in the world. We have a great opportunity here with the Excite Center, but also being here at Drexel in Philadelphia at this time. There's so much great stuff happening in this region, in this community. Uh, and that, whether that's coming from the arts community, there's great innovation happening with our artistic organizations here. There's great innovation happening with our technology organizations and industry and startups and entrepreneurship. And so I feel very fortunate to be here at this time. But again, it's a great opportunity for all of us to explore these connections and to really, I think, do things for the greater good of Philadelphia. And that's the opportunity that we're chasing here.